What is near miss friends? Near miss is any unplanned events which has taken place in your sight but there is uh, no uh, injuries or any damages to persons and the properties. So this is called near miss. So what is special in today's video is when you work as a safety supervisor, safety officer or the safety engineer you have you will come across many near misses in your site and you have to report it obviously you have to make the near miss reports and sometimes you have to make uh, the posters related to near miss which for your safety campaigns in your company so today i'm going to show you uh, some near miss examples which i faced across in my job and uh, i will show you how to write the exact points and uh, how to prepare the posters so let us get into the video. So friends, before I move down to my uh, report, I would like to mention there are key points which has to be mentioned. Uh, I can say the key titles which has to be mentioned in a near miss report or the uh, in the posters. The first one is the subcontractor or the client name the second is the date the time and it is like location where exactly it happened the area the if you have an area code then the description you have to explain the whole incident which happened then the root cause the immediate cause what was the immediate cause or the root causes for this uh, near miss to happen then you have the lessons learned or the corrective actions which you will apply so this is very important you have to give the genuine reasons because your near miss reports shows how much you are caliber and how much is your uh, talent in the safety so you have to be very careful and you have to make sure you give the you you show your best when you prepare the near miss reports so friend today i'm going to discuss about a shovel hit electrical service cable incident uh, which happened in my work site so this is the disc description like on 25th september 2019 uh, my subcontractor team was carrying out their civil activities the work was uh, the civil work was related to the foundation they were doing some foundation work for the height barrier in a particular area uh, in our oil refinery so around 11:40, they were doing their manual excavation so around 11:40, 40 uh, while doing the excavation uh, the they have excavated up to the depth of 90 centimeter after that the soil was little hard so what the people uh, on the side they did like they started to uh, use the uh, more pressure on the shovel by the leg for cutting the hard soil you know like if the soil is not coming up we will just put uh, hard pressure uh, on the shovel so that it can go mo uh, more deep so what happened accidentally this uh, shovel uh, it came in contact with the electrical cable uh, there was electrical cable and instrumentation cables which used to uh, run down uh, so uh, it, it came in contact with the cable and you know the short short circuit happened and the smoke was uh, produced uh, some smoke uh, came out from the cables and at the same time uh, because of the short circuit the electrical uh, circuit breaker which was uh, in the electrical control room uh, got down it got tripped it was uh, let no, not noted by the technician so when smoke came out this technicians immediately came out from the foundation pit so obviously there was no personal injury or any property damages was uh, reported. So this is friends a near miss where action was done. Uh, there was a reaction, reaction in the sense the smoke produced, uh, the electrical shortage was there. But uh, there are no consequences like you know uh, there are no uh, damages reported. So how... We, this is the description which uh, you have to write in the report if, if you come across this kind of situation so what exactly you will write in the root cause or the immediate cause so thinking about the if you say about the root cause 
you have to give the important points on the priority basis the first point will be obviously the lack of supervision because there was no proper lack uh, there was no proper lack of supervision in the site which was the main uh, reason the second was the underground cable utilities were there right so there was no updated information on the drawing about the uh, cables and the third is like scanning reports which are always available is not particularly updated uh, for those people who are not aware uh, not aware of the scanning reports scanning reports are like uh, whenever you do any excavations in the green field uh, or the brown field uh, normally along with along with the excursion permit before taking the excursion permit you have to make the scanning reports you have to make sure that the all the scannings are done and there are no cables underground cables and utilities so this kind of scanning reports are generated so these reports are there from the beginning but it was not updated so it result in the uh, short circuit of or or coming of contact with the electrical cables so these points are enough now we will focus what all are the lessons learned or the corrective actions to be taken to prevent this incidents in future because near miss is tomorrow's accident we used to say so the first is like a dedicated supervision has to be arranged or uh, every location wherever uh, this kind of activities happen a dedicated supervision is required the updated existing underground facilities or the drawings has to be provided to the people who are working there similarly there is one more method like the slit trenches and scannings can be done to before making a big excavation move so what is a slit trench slit trench means before making a big excavation or deep excavation you can make a slit a small uh, small uh, excavation in the trenches to find it out like if any cables are present similarly after that you the next lessons learn, learn is like incident uh, information is communicated to all the people through stand down toolbox meeting so what is stand down toolbox meeting is like all the uh, all the works other works are stopped in that particular area and the tbt is conducted so these all are the lessons uh, the correct actions which are learned so this is how uh, if you come across this kind of situations uh, you can uh, you have to report the near miss in, in this way so friends i hope uh, this is uh, clear to you uh, i am also coming uh, uh, with other near miss examples also so uh, keep watching on and don't uh, forget to subscribe the channel